love this book. It's one of my favorites. It's called Who Will Help Me Make Iftar? This is the. We're gonna we're gonna read the book. We don't want to want to surprise everyone. Have it as a surprise. By Esma Hussein. Okay. So what should I say before I begin? Thank you. Good. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Every year on the first day of Ramadan, Mustafa Amka and his wife cooked a delicious meal for all their neighbors. But his wife, Aiza Taiza, uh, was not well this year. Let's cancel the iftar, she said. Our neighbors will understand. Oh. Can I show you guys that picture? <laughs> no, we must continue our tradition, Mustafa Emka replied. I'll prepare the soup, the rice, and the beef kurma, the salad and the ravani all on my own. I've watched you do it for 40 years. But who will help you, she said. You're an old man now. Your bones creak and your hands shake. Don't worry, he replied with a laugh. <laughs> I will find help. Mustafa Amka called out to his daughter, Halima. Will you help me by the dates to break our fast? I can't, said Halima. I am far too tired from fasting. So Mustafa Amka went to the market with a pocket full of jingling coins and bought the sweet dates himself. I don't think this is true, but I saw a video about fasting and I saw, and I saw that the digestive system wasn't lazy. It wasn't lazy during Ramadan? Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. During Ramadan, it helps get our digestive system and it, healthy. And it, and it, I, and I think it makes makes you faster, gives you more energy. Hmm. I guess when we fast the month of Ramadan, we can check with ourselves to see how we feel after. Yeah. We're going to keep reading. We'll ask, uh, we'll raise our hands after. Okay. Inshallah. On his way home, Mustafa Amka ran into his friend Mahmoud. Will you help me make the red lentil soup for our iftar? He asked. I can't, said Mahmoud. The onions always burn my eyes. So Mustafa Amka cut the onions and carrots himself. He washed the lentils and sprinkled the bubbling soup with paprika and dried mint. We can ask questions after. <laughs> Mustafa Amka spotted his neighbor Bashir outside. Will you help me make the pilar rice and beef kavorma for our iftar, he asked. I can't, said Bashir. I will get my new shirt dirty. So Mustafa Amka seasoned and stirred the be spicy beef with one hand, and he mixed the rice and cre crispy vermicelli with the other. <laughs> Mustafa Amka found his granddaughter Zana playing a video game. Will you help me cut the cucumbers and tomato for the salad, he asked. I can't, Zainab said. If I leave my game now, I'll lose all my points. Well, he's looking really tired now. So Mustafa Amka sliced and diced a mountain of tomatoes and cucumbers himself, and he topped them with a the feta cheese and a handful of black olives. He's looking really tired now. He's doing a lot of things by himself. The delicious smells of Mustafa Amka's cooking tickled his family's nose. It filled the air and made his neighbor's mouths water. It was finally time to break the fast. Who will eat some dates with me? Mustafa Amka called out to the masjid. But I did not help buy the dates, said Halima. How can I break my fast with them now? Allah loves those who feed fasting Muslims, Mustafa Amka said. 
And he passed the juicy dates around to all the fasting men and women. Even though they didn't help, he wants Allah to be happy with him. So he did it because Allah would be happy with him. After prayer, Mustafa Amka motioned for everyone to come and into his courtyard for a meal. But I did not help make the pilar rice or beef kavarma, said Bashir. How can I enjoy it now? And then I did not help cut the onions for the lentil soup, said Mahmoud. How can I sip and slurp it now? And I did not help cut up the salad, said Zainab. How can I happily munch on it now? Do you think they're feeling guilty for not helping? No. Yeah. You think they're feeling bad? Yeah. Mustafa Amka laughed and said, Allah loves those who are generous, especially to their families, neighbors, and guests. And I always want Allah to love me. And he ladled the fragrant soup into everyone's bowls, and he filled their plates with mounds of rice, beef, and salad. Yummy. It's yummy. It's yummy. It's yummy. It does. That was a really nice thought he made. MashaAllah. When all the guests had happily filled their bellies, Mustafa Amka stepped into the kitchen to prepare the tea. <gasps> he suddenly realized he had forgotten to make the ravani. That's a dessert. He forgot to make the dessert. Oh, but what will my guests have for dessert? He said, looking around. How about this? His wife Aisha pointed to a large tray filled with moist ravani, syrupy baklava, and sticky squares of Turkish delight. I may be sick, she said, but I can still find ways to help my old husband. How kind of her. Wasn't that kind and thoughtful of yes. her? Even though she was sick, she wanted to help. And she but he just didn't see her. She was just there, so when, when he was not looking. When he was busy doing all the cooking and preparing, she saw that he might forget, and she helped him. She didn't say, hey, you forgot dessert. She said, let me help him. He's doing so much work already. So when Halima had finished the last crumb of her sweet Ravani, she stood up and said, who will help me wash the dishes? Mahmoud asked, who will help me sweep the floors? Bashir asked, who will help me take some food to the needy? So now they're like, it's time to help, mashallah. The neighbors washed the dishes, the children swept the floors, and their friends made plates of food to share with the needy. That was very considerate of them. Yeah, the needy are those who might not have as much as we do. When Mustafa Amka heard the call to Isha prayer, he stood up. Before he could all ask, all the voices around him said together, Yes, we will all come to pray with you. Alhamdulillah, the end.